<coughs> well, mine is, um, I'll say is fairly okay. I came to the polling units, queued up like every other voter. I think I was one by 20 something. And within a short time, I was accredited, then went through the diverse process, which was seamless, and I voted. So for me, it was okay. But I can't use it to assess what is happening all over the country. Until I hear reports on other people, other people's experience. In my own situation, it was okay. The line was moving on seamlessly. Thank you. So, we count, earlier on, you said that you for these elections, there were concerns that the Southeast uh, people might be under some kind of, uh, you know, influence that they might not come out en masse to vote. And even Ohainese Indigo had to come out, you know, uh, to, to appeal to people to come out and vote. So what are your thoughts uh, from where you are in Anambra and to a larger extent in the Southeast? How would you assess uh, people's response uh, to vote in these very crucial elections? Well, I can tell you that uh, from where I stand, the people's response were very, very okay. You know, the Southeast issue of election and everything, i always said it's so hard to because I remember when we started a campaign, people said we will not be able to campaign in the Southeast. And because of it, I made sure I campaigned in open markets, I campaigned everywhere and everything. Even when journalists and everybody was coming here this morning, they all told me, we came here looking to see police and military and everything. And I said to them, I'm in my village. I cannot be sitting here with tanks and police or security in my village. And we live like Come on, family. All right, okay, let's talk about the electoral umpire, INEC, and what they've done so far. Give us your assessment of them, and what are you expecting from them today? Very special day, I must say. Well, what I'm expecting from, well, for me, I said, like, what happened at my polling unit is fairly okay, and they've done a good work if that is what is happening all over the country. I'm yet to get the reports and assessments of what is happening all over the country. If that is the same, all I urge them to go ahead and ensure free, fair, and credible election to the end. Oh, very good, Mr. Obi. Now, I know you mentioned earlier that uh, you de-emphasized uh, security details uh, regarding your own personal security, as it were. But generally, uh, you know, I think to a large extent, uh, 300,000 plus uh, uh, security personnel have been deployed by the police so far. But uh, in Anambra, how would you describe their deployment uh, in relation to these elections? I don't know what is happening. Like I said, uh, for me, I've campaigned all over Nigeria. I've campaigned in the Southeast. And I feel there's insecurity all over Nigeria. None of the Southeast is not exceptional. Rather, it's often been exaggerated. And they tend to listen to some rogue actors making statements are not factual, or showing videos that don't exist. You know, videos that have happened, or what has happened in the past. And you need to compare what is happening today. I've been in Anambra a few days now, moving around. I've not had any reason to say, oh, well, it's been very secure. All right, Mr. Peter, will you uh, please talk to us. Um, what do you make of the of the situations that are reaching us that the Labour Party logo is missing on some ballot papers? 
All right, people who express concern, especially in Ondo State. Talk to us about this. Well, we expected, uh, we expected, uh, one expected in the ballot paper to show clearly the LP sign is not there. And uh, someone has told me that in some states, the, the logo is completely missing. Well, I'm worried. I don't know why it should be. I think now is um, we should have been going the way other smaller nations of Africa are doing, like Ghana, where they don't have, only have the names, they have your picture, boldly written, and the party. After the number of people contesting the election, it's only 18 of us. They should have had our pictures and everything, but I'm not complaining. It's a process. All right, uh, Mr. Peter B. of the Labour Party, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, would like to thank you for taking the time to speak.